Hey guys, Sean here. So today I wanted to do my pick em for the LCQ for Americas. This is gonna be a super hard pick em to make. It's a pretty cool format. I've never seen anything like this, but I, I really do think it's a smart idea given how the teams just played in a full season. You know, like you can see the regular season right here. The teams, the way that they're playing these matches, like Crew and MIBR play this opening game. Well, it's because they were the last place teams. So they have to win more in order to end up going all the way through LCQ. Whereas a team like Cloud9, who had an outstanding record, eight and one, 17 and four in maps, are hugely in like an advantageous scenario way over here in the upper semis already, which if you take a look is actually double elimination. Everything before here in the upper bracket is single elimination. That is a huge advantage for Cloud9 and Leviathan. So without further ado, let's just hop right into this. Oh, opening match, MIBR versus Crew. This is actually kind of hard for me because I think Crew, despite the fact that they went winless here, I think they played quite well in a lot of these games. Their round differential is actually better than MIBR's, right? Despite the fact that they didn't win a single series. If you go to their page, like a lot of these losses, they're losing like one, two, one, two. Like they played a lot of teams pretty close and even their O2s are still pretty close games for the most part. So it's not so black and white for me. Now I do have a lot of faith. I talked to Bazooka actually during one of the VCT Americas broadcasts and he kind of gave me insight into like how the team operates and some of the things that were going wrong. I think they do have some heavy hitters on this team. I really like Marie's, I like RGL. And I like JZZ too. And Chosen, even as the sub, played really well. I think the team is going to look a lot more structured in LCQ. And I'm going to take them in this opening game. But I'm not feeling great about it. That brings us to, like, the meat and potatoes right here, right? Like, this Sentinels and 100 Thieves game. It's a single elimination game. And I think, like, all of us in North America are just going to have our eyes set on this game. Because I think we all know whoever loses this game is making roster changes, right? So a lot is on the line here for these teams, for the players. And I truly do believe that both of these teams can make runs here in this bracket. I mean, we've heard all the players chirping about how good Sentinels are playing in scrims. They're just bodying teams uh, that are, you know, legit contenders to win champions. They're just destroying them. So I'm sure Kaplan has designed a much more rigid and structured system. On the other hand, we have 100 Thieves coming off this break, and I know what they're capable of, obviously, as the ex-coach. So I have tons of faith in what like someone like Mike can cook up with this much time off. He never had this, actually, at the start of BCT Americas. So there's so much that they can do in the amount of time they've had. And for a strategic team like 100 Thieves, they're in a really solid spot. Another thing that's not listed here is Mike's actually has help now. And I'm aware of who it is. It was Vapen. I don't know if I can say that. But with Mike and Vapen cooking stuff up in the lab for as long as they've been able to, and the work ethic I know these guys have, it makes me want to lean 100 Thieves. But the community sentiment and like the scrim results and like the championship pedigree of these players makes me like side sentinels this is literally a, like a coin flip type game if the game is very strategic and buttoned up i favor 100 thieves but if the game gets scrappy and we end up in like these little skirmishes all over the map and it's very loose in those scenarios i'm going to give the edge to sentinels because i think the pressure is going to be so high to win these duels for like the players on 100 Thieves. And I think the experience in a scenario like that ends up winning. Now it's not saying that like these players are less skilled. I just think the pressure of this game is gonna be insane. So like, I don't think there's gonna be a game like this that these players have played where it's just, it's the opening game of LCQ for them. If I were to look at this on paper, I would actually probably slightly favor Sentinels based on everything I just said. But there's something about being able to surprise a team with comps, map vetoes, and just overall approach. And because of that, I'm gonna go 100 Thieves. I feel like I've made a couple picks now that I could easily argue go the other way. So next, we have Furia and MIBR. And Furia actually, I literally just saw a couple days ago that you know QCK will not be playing. So Conan's gonna replace Quick into Furia's active lineup. And that's a pretty big loss. That really sucks. I still think they get to keep their star players, right? Khalil is still playing. 
MW0 is still playing, DG is still playing. Having your full squad is super important for something like this. They have their full squad. I'm definitely just blatantly picking them here. I'm just without a doubt I'm picking them. I actually think even with Quick stepping out, I think they still play really well. I think their star players can just pop off. I'm gonna go Fury. I know that's like great. I feel like all three of my picks so far have been like coin flips. I'll start down here, Leviathan and Furia. I think Leviathan needed this break drastically. I mean, they really, really fell off towards the latter part of the BCT America stage. Look at the first part of their schedule here. And then look at up here, it's just all red. Their only win is against a winless team and crew. They did cook up a couple good game plans here in playoffs. Like they played all right against Fury and Cloud9. I still was slightly optimistic leaving playoffs compared to where I was at the end of the regular season with them. I have a lot of faith in owner though. Once he has some time to get the team's confidence back up, create some new game plans. I'm going Leviathan here. I think, you know, Losing quick will catch up to Furia, and this is where it happens. Cloud9 versus 100 Thieves. The MCE versus Mike's battle. This is a really hard game for 100 Thieves because I think here, if they beat Sentinels, they're going to have to exhaust a lot. And I don't even know if Sentinels or 100 Thieves is coming through. But what I do know is that Cloud9 is really goddamn good. They're going to have footage to work off of, and I trust MCE a lot. This team was, like I said, 17 and 4 in maps in the regular season. That is better than loud. Like that's three maps better than loud. They played better than NRG. The round differential is plus 70. Like no one's even close to this. These guys were owning. Just because they played bad in the playoffs doesn't mean they're not a great team. So I'm gonna go ahead and say Cloud9's winning this. As upper finals of Cloud9, Leviathan. I think Leviathan can hang with Cloud9, but I think skill wise, I'm giving the edge to Cloud9, which is why, you know, they were so dominant in the regular season, right? Like. It's going to be hard for Leviathan to find edges in the map veto. I think they'll be able to get like a map win on like one of their home maps, whether that, you know, be like Pearl or something like even like Ascent. But outside of those maps, I think Leviathan might struggle against Cloud9. And Cloud9 is probably going to only give them one of those maps. So might go three maps, but I still have Cloud9 winning. And we have lower bracket, 100 Thieves versus Furia. Definitely have 100 Thieves winning there. Oh my God, this is actually happening. And then Leviathan versus 100 Thieves. This is the rematch of like the crazy ass game, dude. This game, chat. Well out of reach. No. There's no way that guy just no in like that. Way, he actually bro. knew how important it was, dude. Wait. Oh, oh. 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 He did it, dude! Holy! Holy! Shonzo! Wow! Dude, Shonzo is the go! What a clutch! I think, again, in their completely new looks, probably, both these teams are going to bust out new comps, new, new strats. Everything is going to be changed, right? They have so much prep time. New alt plays across the board. I'm citing the 100 Thieves coaching staff here. I know that's crazy because owner has proven, like, to be very, very good in that. But at this point in the tournament, you know, like Leviathan has played a few games and based on what I saw in the regular season, they weren't able to pivot off of their game plans that they created. So I'm going under Thieves, which brings us to the grand finals. Cloud9 versus 100 Thieves. And it'll be good. It'll be good. But this is where like these advantages come into play, right? Where like they'll probably get like the double veto advantage in a best of five type scenario. You know, they played significantly less games coming into this, coming from the upper bracket. So two best of threes versus what? One, two, three, four best of threes. And, you know, it'd probably be like you play one, like Saturday and this is on Sunday. And Cloud9 is just watching you, right? So with all of those edges, I mean, even though I love my boys, I'm picking Cloud9. They look like the strongest team in the regular season. I'm submitting it. Those are my pickums. Anyway, my heart is really rooting for the 100 Thieves boys. I want to see them at Champions. That'd be dope. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. If you disagree with them, tell me below. I'm sure you do because there's so many coin flip games up in here. So let me know who you think is going to win the opening games between Sentinels and 100 Thieves. Honestly, I'm sure like a lot of people think Sentinels is going to win that game. And do you think either of those teams is going to beat Cloud9? Do you think any of the other teams have a chance of winning? Does Leviathan have a chance of winning? Furia without Quick, do they have a chance? Personally, I don't think like MIBR or Crew can run this bracket from where they're starting. It's just, it's so difficult from where they're starting. Uh, such a huge advantage for a team like Cloud9 or Leviathan versus like where MIBR crew 
sit here. But let me know what you think below in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace.